I am cold-blooded. I don't possess eyelids and I can smell with my tongue. Because I can't chew, I like to swallow my prey whole. What animal am I? Snakes are one of the most instantly recognisable, fascinating and feared animals around. And with approximately 160 species, Borneo is thought to have the highest snake diversity in the world. They are found all over the island, from seasoned mangroves to towering mountains and steaming jungles. Borneo snakes come in all shapes, colours and also sizes. Tonight I'm with DGFC's reptile expert, Rich, and we're going to be catching the longest reptile in the world, the reticulated python. My name is Richard Berger. I'm a PhD student at Cardiff University, and I'm studying pythons in the Kinabatangan. My goals for this study are to understand a little bit more about python ecology. I think they're fascinating animals. I think they, they look incredible. They're really beautiful. On the ecological scale, they are important, probably keystone predators uh, within their habitat. So they're incredibly important to know more about in terms of understanding their effects on a huge range of other species that are found here. What I would really like is for people to understand this more, understand this chain of connectedness, and particularly for people to not just see a snake and think, oh, I hate snakes, so I'll kill it, but to realize it actually has a value. So we're looking for the world's longest snake. Whilst it's hunting, it can grow to almost 10 meters in length, and we have to launch ourselves off a boat to try and catch it. Absolutely. I just want to make sure I'm getting this straight. Yeah, it sounds easy, right? They'll be lying, lying in ambush somewhere, maybe along a, a small mammal trail um, in the forest, waiting for something to come past, and if it does, then they'll quickly grab onto it and constrict it and consume it. Reticulated pythons kill by constriction. They lie in a coil and wait before ambushing their prey and latching onto it with their powerful jaws. Now for the cool part. The ligaments and tendons in these predators' mouths are specially adapted for extreme flexibility. This means they can swallow prey that is larger than their own head. This can include livestock, pets, and on rare occasions, even humans. Once it's all over, the snake may not need to feed again for weeks. Right, ready to look for some? Yes, of course. let's do it. Okay, torches on. Is that one? Oh, I could be, but uh, nine times out of ten, it's a leaf. With Rich's determination driving us forward, we searched on into the night. Two hours now, still no snakes, but that is the life of a scientist. Right, Rich? Are we going to change anything up, or is there nothing, literally nothing you can do? There's nothing we can do other than just keep looking and, uh, and hoping. So more of the same? Yeah, just keep your eyes peeled, Bertie. All right, on it. <laughs> There, Jess. I think Toby we've got one. I think we've got one. Are you sure? Do you want to get those gloves on, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure it's a snake? Yeah, yeah. No, 100%. 100%. 100% we've got a python. All right. Okay. So it's just there. Yeah, if you get ready here. Oh, he's moving. Got him. Okay, he's got it. Just hooked onto a branch, that's all. These snakes are really strong. Very, very strong. How many yeah. muscles do these things have? Oh, like 15,000 or so. 15,000 muscles. I don't want him wrapped around my arm because he can actually. Okay. He can actually force his head out from my hand. All right. Okay. So. Um, the pattern is beautiful. It is, isn't it? This is why they're uh, so highly prized for their skins. Unfortunately, that's a lot of people think it looks quite nice as a handbag or a pair of boots. You could sell a python like this for its skin for maybe 30 US dollars. And it That's could, all? Yeah, and it could end up fetching you know, $10,000 as a handbag in, uh, in some of the big fashion houses of Europe. 
To determine the health of this population, Rich has to look in some unlikely places. So is this a regular Wednesday for you then, Rich? Massaging poo down a three meter <laughs> python's body? Yeah, it's all in a day's work, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You just got farted on. Did the snake just oh. fart on Oh, we got poo, we got poo, we got poo. Oh, we've got, <laughs> <laughs> I feel so, I just got farted on by a python <laughs> in the Borneo jungle. How surreal. And now I'm gonna try and squeeze some, Whoa, I keep farting oh. on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever take stock at the absurdity of all of this? <laughs> it's nearly out, there we go. Alright, so if you can be ready to pull the pull the string up, okay? One, two, three. We got one python. I'm happy. I've got I've got two more bags. <laughs> two more bags. You wanna look more? I always wanna look for more, yeah. Absolutely. With one snake under our belt, will our luck continue tonight? Oh, go on, go on. Oh, it's huge. It's huge. Okay, right. Got him. Okay, yeah. Just here, just here, Jez. All right, we're going to go straight into How it. How did you spot that? Okay. And into bag, the bag number three. It's the most I've ever caught in one night. Is, it, is that true? Yeah. Three, two, one. After our record haul the night before, next up, we hit the lab. So what does this big fancy machine do? If this is a python that we've caught before, it should have a, a microchip under its skin and then this will actually be able to read the code. No, so this is a new one, so that's good. Is that exciting for you? That's always exciting, yeah. Of course, the microchip is just very small, like a grain of rice inside the needle here. Okay, there we go. Once we release this one, if we catch it again, we'll be able to see how much it's grown and how far it's moved as well. After taking his final samples, it's now time to take these snakes back to their site of capture. I think here is good, yeah. So this is the place where we caught it yesterday? Yeah, the exact same spot. And so it's got taken, inserted with the microchip, <laughs> anally probed, and then released back in exactly the same place. Yeah, it's got a story to tell us friends, isn't it? <laughs> We'll drop him down like this. And hopefully, he's going to go straight into the river. That was beautiful. All right, went off for a swim. Two more to go. So, Rich, congratulations. Yeah. As you release the final snake. How are you feeling? Uh, logical. Logical. <laughs> Scientists. <laughs> one of the calmest releases I've had. Fantastic. There you go, Rich. Congratulations, mate, good work. Great, thanks for your help. Let's go find some more. <laughs>